sorry about what we have. It, 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 yes, please. I have come to wonder in recent days whether it was my duty to consider entering into negotiations with... With... I've just been standing, imagining never being here anymore. Whether it's because I'm no longer alive or that the palace itself is gone. Canada, you must decide, sir. You could rule in exile. Truly, is that to be my fate? You know something I'm aware in this moment? feeling angry. Bloody angry. Darling. Winston, darling. There's someone to see you. You have a visitor. You have the full weight of the world on your shoulders. I no, can't. I know, I know. But these inner battles have actually trained you for this very moment. You are strong because you are imperfect. You are wise because you have doubts. Now, shall I let him in? Uh, who? The king. Which king? Our king. Well, if it isn't him, it's a marvellous impersonation. Mr Churchill, I hope you can forgive the late hour, but your wife thought tonight would be a good time. Shall we sit? Uh, uh, yes, uh, uh, please. Um, uh, some, uh, something to drink, perhaps. <clears throat> I received a visit from Viscount Halifax. It appears that the prospect of a peace deal has increased dramatically. Uh, the, the war cabinet is drafting a letter to Mussolini, asking him to broker talks with Herr Hitler. Then Halifax was correct. I, I should like to know your mind. It would be helpful to know yours first. Ah, I should like to know it myself. Nations <clears throat> which go down fighting rise again, and those uh, surrender tamely are finished. Belgium? Collapsed. Norway? Holland. France, any hour. And the mood of Parliament? Fear, panic. And you? Are you not afraid? I am most terribly. The support 
in the war cabinet, through the campaign of resistance, has collapsed. Well, later today, I, I will address the House accordingly. You have my support. I confess, I had some reservations about you at first, but while some in this country dreaded your appointment, none, none dreaded it like Adolf Hitler, whomever can strike fear into that brute heart is worthy of all of our trust. We shall work together. You shall have my support at any hour. Beat the buggers. I will go to Parliament. But without supporting my own party, I must sue for peace. You once gave me some advice. Perhaps I can, I can give you some. Go to the people. Let them instruct you. Quite silently, they usually do. But tell them the truth, unvarnished. If invasion is imminent, if our troops in France are lost, they must be prepared. On certain matters, I, I have very few people with whom I can talk, frankly. Perhaps now we have each other. And I no longer scare you. A little. <laughs> but I can cope. <laughs> hmm.